always love coming to the city of Florissant for any of the reasons that we have named above. But because not only is it a pretty cool spot to do our show, but the people here really are top notch. I want you to meet the mayor, Mayor Lowry, who has served this town for over three decades and then decades and decades before that with your dad, right? How long was he? He was in the city. He served the city for over five decades. Over 50 years he did. I'm on my 35th year here in the city of Florida, so just a great city, and uh, we just love it here. And uh, I mean, you have events like this, and so many people come out, and it's just great. Well, thank you for having us. Thank we you always for being appreciate. Here. So, tell me about some important projects that Florissant either completed or started this year. Sure, year. sure. I think we had a lot of great projects here. You know, we just had a Proposition A that passed in 2022, which got just two brand new aquatic centers. One at the Coke Park on the west side of town. Mm -hmm. and one at Bangor right here. And so we got two brand new aquatic centers are outside. The one at uh, Coke is more of the aquatic center, the family fun type mm -hmm. thing. And the one at uh, Bangor, we we, bought, we built that for the, our lap swimmers. And, and our great swim team that we have here. We've got a forest and fish swim team, mm -hmm. extremely successful. Almost 150 kids participate in that yeah. program. And so we, we did that. We built that one kind of with them in mind. I didn't tell you, I swam up here for Fry when I was a kid. Oh, I? did you really? Yeah. Okay, I very did. good. The old Fry. Yeah. All right, so Music Under the Stars, that's the, the summer concert yes. series. Uh, that continues to grow every year. It does. You know, we so that starts the, uh, the Saturday after the 4th of July every year. Runs for eight Saturdays. We have it at St. Ferdinand Park. And, I mean, it's just like I said, it continues to grow. We have great events there. We always have the cars there also. But the neat thing this year is we're building a brand new bandstand. Mm. And it'll be ready right in front of the lake and should be ready for the, the uh, series next year. This is a great music community. Not so yes. much Florissant, but, I mean, our whole area around here. Why do you think this concert in, in the Under the Stars uh, series has done so well? You know, I, I'll tell you what. First of all, we, we try to bring good bands in mm -hmm. and try to bring ones that people want. But the other thing is our community just loves to get together. And I think that that's a big part of it. And they certainly love the music that we uh, have come to our uh, yeah. venue. So it's just a, another great way to get together as we have so many great events in the city. And speaking of events, any cool ones coming up? Well, first of all, we got the one Sunday, which is obviously right. the fall, fall festival. festival. But then the, ne the next one is one that I, is really near and dear to our heart sure. is the Veterans Day yep. on November the 10th. And we have a Veterans Day parade that starts at 1 o'clock. That starts at Bangor P uh, Park, goes down Florissant Road, down St. Francis Street, is at the VFW Post, where at the VFW Post we'll have a uh, ceremony and we'll, and we'll uh, honor our Veteran of the Year there wow. and for 2024. So You know, a lot of communities in, in the greater metropolitan area honor veterans in different ways. You guys really stand out, though. You have really made an effort to point out the, the, the contributions that our veterans have made. Yeah, they're, they're a big part of our community. I personally was never a veteran, but I can tell you this. I have a lot of respect for what our veterans did for our country. Mm -hmm. And certainly we have a great veteran community here in the city of Florida. A great VFW Post, an American Legion Post, so we have a lot, we just have a lot of great veterans here at City of Florida, and we certainly appreciate them. Going back to the events, we've got uh, a brand new, beautiful senior center. We're going to hear more yes. about that. you got a New Year's Eve party coming up there, right? Yeah, so we uh, so we took, uh, at, at the uh, JFK Center, we moved our, our senior center, made a much bigger facility, really a nice facility for our seniors, just to have so many different, even in smaller events, that they can go there every day and just hang out, play cards, yeah. drink coffee, just enjoy each other. But then, the, the, really, the neatest event that all, of all year is they have their senior New Year's Eve party. Yeah. And the best thing about that starts at 10 o'clock in the morning, and at noon, we count down. Yeah, see, that's, now, see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's I mean. great. <laughs> it's a great event. <laughs> no and no traffic. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something, we, we stood here in this almost this exact same spot last year, and we talked about it. And I know it's one you, you like to put in the rearview mirror, and that's all the construction on 270 now is cleared up, and so it's easy to get in and out. Absolutely. I mean, that was a 278 million dollar project that MoDOT and, uh, did from the North County area. And it's just done a lot of great things with mobility and sure. moving traffic and it's just a beautiful amenity to not just Florida but all of North County. Yeah. So Thank you so much for having Thank us you, out. Ken, Always it. a pleasure to Thank see you, you, my friend. Happy uh, fall. Thank you. Mm -hmm.